Still pretty light at the Palm Springs Aquatic Center as the competition not yet underway. Last minute exercises going on, a lot of stretching. Here's Bruce. Okay, this week the men's sprint is up. Now, two swimmers from each team. Now the scoring goes 50 for first, 25 for second, and 10 for third. Now with me, Alan Thick. Now, Alan, in the first round, the women swam. Mm -hmm. Now we have the men. Yes. And your women did very, very well. Got you some crucial you points. Joanna, no, Joanna, put a, little pressure a on. great race. Mm -hmm. I hear you're actually going to swim. Is that correct? Well, I think we've got them psyched because I wore my comedy pants this morning. I and uh, you about the, uh, and uh, so far, the other teams haven't settled down. Uh, after they saw these, they said, we don't know. Either he's fast or stupid. Um, uh, well, we'll find out yeah. in just a second. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yes. Well, good luck, Ben. Thank you, Bruce. Now that's a good thing trunks don't make the swimmer. Seriously, though, the growing pains men should do as well as the ladies did, according to practice times. Now we'll see who's swimming. Lane number one, different strokes, Dudley Johnson, Shavar Ross. In lane number two, Nicholas Campbell. Now he did swim in the first round, and he did very well. He is definitely one to watch. Lane three, John Scott Clough. He swims the anchor in the relay. These short sprints, though, well, we'll just have to wait and see. Swimming in lane four, that's Steve Brady. He plays a character as well as a stand-in on different strokes. Lane five, the captain of the Growing Pains team and the head of the household, Alan Thick. Now, Barry, the Insiders Miss Universe team, knowing how good a swimmer Nicholas Campbell is, has decided to go with just him. Strategy working already. Good fair start. Nick Campbell getting a very good start. That's Nicholas Campbell in first place. He's got a commanding lead right now. John Scott Clough is second. Going to be a race for third, but Nicholas Campbell having it all his own way. It's going to be Nicholas Campbell who's going to get there first. John Scott Clough is second, and I believe Alan Thick got there for third. So a very exciting race, 12.62, and Nick Campbell keeping his dominance in the sprint. And the men from Growing Pains doing what we expected. We'll take another look. Nick Campbell looking like a pro off the blocks. A great dive. He took the lead right at the start. He held it all the way. And the results, the Insiders, Miss Universe, and Growing Pains teams both off to a good start. And Morgan is poolside. Hey, you guys. Listen, this is absolutely <laughs> Good idea, guys. Yeah. Off to a great start. We'll talk to you later, hopefully, at the winning finish line. Okay? Yeah. That was my favorite team that just won, and you know what? If they don't keep winning, they won't be my favorite team anymore, either. How about that? Dick Buckus Fickle, who'd have ever Hey, Barry, I, I wouldn't say anymore. Dick can get pretty mad. Now, there are the scores. The relay is next. I remember the first part of the, um, the race, man. Won't give it to all on the second, you know, on the way back down. So the finish line. We got that. We got that race too. <laughs> Well, the men have had a chance to warm up by way of the sprints. Now it's time for the women to take the plunge into the relay. Now, remember the rules. We've got four participants from each team. Now, the women from Growing Pains come in as very strong contenders. But it's usually the women who do the sprints and the men who do the longer 50-yard distance. But with me is Joanna Kearns. And, Joanna, just because of heredity, with your sister being Donna Deveron, Olympic champion in 1964 Olympic Games in swimming, mm -hmm. uh, you get stuck with the longer leg, the 50-yard the leg. Yes, yes. Well, it, it worked out just fine the other day, except they've imported some youth today on the different strokes team. We have uh, Verda Bridges, mm -hmm. right? And yes. Who looks very lean and mean over there. And Nick Campbell, who's going to be swimming against me, says he was on the Canadian Olympic team when he was eight. You're, you're not starting to tighten up already, are you? I, well, I'm a little worried. I'm a little worried. I have some competition today, so... Well, doesn't we'll that see. usually bring I'm the older. best out in you? You're yes. all the you. All right, well, you get those old bones down there okay. on the starting line. I will. Right? I will. Okay, Thanks. good luck. <laughs> so, Joanna Kearns is under some pressure here. Okay, swimming first of all in lane number one, the Insiders Miss Universe team. First, it'll be Karen Baldwin. Swimming second, Gail Strickland. Swimming third, Sean Weatherly. And swimming the anchor leg, the winner of the men's sprint, Nicholas Campbell. In the middle lane from different strokes, replacing the injured Mary Jo Catlett, Verda Bridges. Swimming second, Shavar Ross. Swimming third, Todd Bridges. And swimming the final leg, Dana Plato, and she's shown herself to be a very good all-around athlete. Lane number three, swimming the first leg for growing pains, Joanna Kern, she's tough. Swimming second, Tracy Gold. Swimming third, it'll be Alan Thick, the captain. And swimming the anchor leg, John Scott Clow. Morgan, Bruce, thoughts on this one? Well, the Growing Pains team have been almost unbeatable in the water. I've got to go with them. 
And the Insiders Miss Universe team has three ladies and one guy. I'm going with Nick Campbell and the girls. Okay, a split decision. Three ladies get the start here. Joanna Kearns closest to the camera. Roda Bridges in the middle. Karen Baldwin on the far outside. And Joanna Kearns very quickly jumps into the lead. Boy, they have a lot of confidence in their ladies in this show because all the ladies are swimming the 50 yards. How about that turn by Joanna Kearns? Karen Baldwin in second place. She had a good turn also, but it's Joanna Kearns just looking all a part of a competitive swimmer here. Ah, it's that good Olympic blood that she has in her. Joanna doesn't have to worry about Verda. She's in trouble. Well, it looks to me like those ladies are doing very, very well, but boy, Growing Pains is out there in the lead. Tracy Gold now moves into the lead for Growing Pains. She's on the second leg. Gail Strickland off her Insiders Miss Universe, and Verda is still in a lot of trouble. Verda is in trouble. Meanwhile, Gail is almost caught up with Tracy. That is Gail getting the edge just slightly ahead of Tracy. Alan Thick now into the water. It looks like it's a very, very close race. Boy, this is going to tell it all right here. Alan Thick just passed Sean Weatherly. John Scott Clow now starting the anchor leg, and he will start it in first place. There he goes. All right, he's going up against Nick Campbell. Now, this is the race. Clow out in the lead right now in the lane closest to us. That is John Scott Clow maintaining his lead over Nicholas Campbell, and it's about a body length between the two of them. And he looked over just at that last second as he was making that turn to see where Nick Campbell was. Nick Campbell trying to make his move, but he doesn't seem to be making it on Clow. And then John Scott Clow might have won it at the turn. He's up to two body lengths, and John Scott Clow wins it for growing pains. Nicholas Campbell will come in second for the Insiders Miss Universe, and eventually it'll be Dana Plato who will have to settle for third for different strokes. And there she is, taking her time at this point. Well, I need some hair products. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody got a penalty. There was one penalty in each team, so Why? I don't even so what do we do for a penalty? Would we blaspheme or something? <laughs> <laughs> what are we doing? No, Alan had too much hair in his body. Yeah, I got a penalty for back hair. <laughs> Unsightly back hair. <laughs> Well, let's take a look at a couple of those penalties. Here, Gail Strickland left the blocks before Karen Baldwin touched the edge. Now, Tracy Gold and Gail were nearing the exchange. Allen left when Gail touched, not when his teammate Tracy reached the edge. Different strokes also received a penalty for the same reason. Well, there is a controversy here in swimming, but the final decision has been made. Well, unfortunately, growing pains, uh, they got a penalty. But, unfortunately, but, uh, but, but, but also the insiders got a penalty and different strokes got a penalty so the decision is that you guys still win this thing no, no honor in the entire event no, there was absolutely no honor whatsoever got a fair player in the whole group. well actually after two events now that gives you about 135 points in the league can you believe this we're now we're now heading into the kayak which we call rowing paints oh, okay well congratulations you're on the league keep it going And even Verda made it in, so no casualties yet. But Land sure looks good to the Different Strokes team. Hopefully, they'll make it through the kayak race. Two events behind us now. Close race for first. Ten points separating Growing Pains and the Insiders Miss Universe. So whoever wins at the end. Together. And Joanna Kearns and Alan Thick working on their method. Alan giving some guidance to Casey Winkler and John Scott Clow also. Well, we're in the swing of this competition now, and with the swimming events over, Growing Pains is first, and the Insiders Miss Universe team is second, with only 10 points separating them. Now, the rules for the kayak relay are four participants per team, two men and two women. Each team makes two trips up around a buoy and back. Now, this race, more so than the others, is a test of coordination. There's lots of room for error, and the team who makes the fewest usually comes out the winner. Now, Bruce is with the Different Strokes team, who's in third place. Thank you, Morgan. And yes, I am with the Different Strokes team, who is in third place, a position that they're not accustomed to being in. And Marianne Mobley, you're the captain. How do you feel about this? Well, we're not really terribly concerned at this point. Swimming has not been our strong point, but we're going to make up for it in the running. I mean, we've got a lot of running events, the relay dashes, and that's where you're going to see... Is, yeah, you're, you're yeah. ace in the hole right yes, here, Todd. Yes, now, did. that puts a lot of pressure on You think on. it's just his hair and the smile, don't you? Yeah, well, <laughs> but it's those legs. Are you kidding? It's those legs? No. Wait till you see him run. That's true. Those mean, legs are made to go, not to yeah, show. Look at that's that. the way I've always said about right. mine. Yeah. They're bionic, see? I'm the $6 million kid. You didn't know that. Well, I'm going to so take it back well, on the well, running. Well, yeah. You have such great... Uh, charity sort of feelings that it'll be rewarded be later on down the line word, yes. Yes, and you yes, might yes. have to eat it later but that's all right okay well good luck Humble to you pie, i think all right thank you it's nice. a wonderful time good i'm glad you're having fun 
The different strokes team under control, confident of their strength on the track. Getting behind too far, I don't think it's going to make it very easy out there, though. Let's see how the kayak goes now. Lane one, growing pains, rowing the first leg, Casey Winkler and John Scott Clough. Rowing the second leg, the husband and wife team of Joanna Kearns and Alan Thick. In the center lane for the Insiders Miss Universe, rowing the first leg, Sean Weatherly and Stoney Jackson. Rowing second, Nicholas Campbell and Karen Baldwin. And in lane number three for different strokes, rowing the first leg, Captain Marianne Mobley and Steve Brady. And rowing the second leg, Dana Plato and the $6 million kid, Todd Bridges. Kayaks are set, we wait for the gun. Long wait, and now they are underway. Good push off from Alan Thick, and they take an early lead. Growing pains looks very good. Look at how they're keeping their oars in unison. They're keeping the boat straight, going right down the center, and just pulling away from everybody else. And they're actually not really rowing in sync. It's amazing, Bruce, that they can keep that boat so straight. They started off in sync, and then all of a sudden they lost it because they were just trying so hard to stay out in that lead. Even so, they get around the first turn first. Both insiders, Miss Universe, different strokes, not too far behind. Not far behind, but a very close race for second and third. The insiders are keeping it down the middle. Yep. Growing pain still with a substantial lead and still growing extremely smoothly. Now just a little bit of problems, but not a severe problem. They are going to make their exchange. Let's see how they get in and out of the boat. Looks like John Scott Clow might have gotten out of the boat just a little bit early, but still within the designated area. Marianne Moby and Steve Brady out of their boat. Todd Bridges. Oh. And they flip the boat over. A tough break. Insiders Miss Universe second team on its way out now. Nicholas Campbell and Karen Baldwin. That's Todd and Dana still with a few problems. Todd and Dana are going to have to do some moving to catch up over here. That was a tough break when that boat fell over. Yep. What I've noticed in all the star games in the kayak race is that it's so tough to make up ground in this race unless the other team makes a mistake. So right now, the insiders miss universe as they come around the, the buoy right there. They're going to have to make a mistake or they will get second place out of this. Growing pains clearly the leader right now. Insiders miss universe and different strokes not too far behind. It looks like Growing Pains is going to do it. They've got a pretty good lead. Substantial lead. And they are going to get there clearly in first place. So a good win for Growing Pains. They win another. Insiders Miss Universe will come in second. And more chance to celebrate for the Growing Pains team. <laughs> Applause and with good reason. They performed very well. They were rarely in any kind of trouble. Rode very smoothly. And they're two for two here. And the other side of the coin, the different strokes team finally making it in. I don't think there's any question but that that bad exchange probably cost different strokes at least second place, and they might have even been in the hunt for first place. You can see, when Dana Plato jumped in the boat, it just toppled the boat. She didn't get in squarely. The boat went over. There are the scores, and that's the story. Growing Pains, 235. Insiders Miss Universe, 200. Different Strokes, 100. Now let's see if through the magic of editing, we can help Different Strokes possibly change the outcome of that race. Let's watch. Your team, Stuart, in the last competition. 75 for second and 50 for third. And with me right over here are the members of the different strokes team. Now, this is the relay team. Now, first of all, you guys need the points, right? Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, like, the pressure is on. on. Yeah. No pressure. This is how we planned it from the yeah. beginning. We've been telling you all day we were going to let everybody get ahead so they forget right. about us. Strategy. And now, finally, with three events left, we're coming on strong. This exactly. is the way we planned it for three weeks. Should I, should I pick you guys to win this? 
Yeah, yeah, I would if I were you. That's where the money yeah. is. Yeah. The money yeah. Is. Actually, the money is a dollar in his pocket that he owes me. <laughs> About another race. That's another bet. You better get to the starting line and win some money, okay. right? Thanks, Bruce. Bye, Bruce. Bye, Bruce. That's right. <laughs> all right, the Growing Pains team. You guys have been in first place all day. You have now slipped to second. What is the strategy oh, you've got? Alan, Alan, uh, Alan, what strategy do you have to get you back into first? I don't know. I say we go down 10 yards, you cut to the outside. And hit you near the... Joanna, you had a kind of a tough break in that 50-yard dash. Muffled. You took a... You did. I just... My legs just went away. I don't know what happened. So... I'm a mother. You all going to get out there and bring yourselves back right. into first place? Hey! The Growing Pains team looks like they've just about had it. This is no time to be tired. Remember, there's still 300 first place points on the line. Let's see who's running left to right. That's Verda Bridges, Joanna Kearns, and Gail Strickland. And Bruce Morgan with Todd and Verda running for different strokes. They've got to be the favorites here. Well, no argument here. Well, I've had a hunch about the Insiders Miss Universe team all day long. I'll stick with them. Well, they're underway. It's 110 yards on this first leg. I'm surprised different strokes didn't save Verda for one of the longer distances. We'll see if this strategy pays off. That's Gail Strickland. And here's Verda. Verda reaching the exchange point first. Dana Plato underway now. The second 110. She's got a big lead. Ah, she does, but she can't count the other teams out. They're coming up with some good competitors now. That's Casey Winkler behind her in second. Sean Weatherly back in third place. If I remember correctly, Dana Plato was really given a tough assignment last time she was on Star Game. She had to run the 110 and the 440. Do you remember that, Bruce? Oh, I do, but look at Carlos for second place. Just going right now. So it's Steve Brady, Carlos Parkin, and Kirk Cameron running in that order. This is Brady, and Bruce, he looks like he's struggling a little bit. He's tight enough because he knows Carlos is right on him. Here he comes, Carlos. And the Insiders Miss Universe team takes the lead. Goes around Steve and the different strokes team. Perfect form for Carlos Parkin. He makes the handoff now to Stoney Jackson. And that's John Scott Clow and Todd Bridges. Bridges running second. John Scott Clow in third place. Got a lot of ground to make up. Looks like John Scott Clow had a little trouble with that exchange. Yeah, he did, but Stoney Jackson is a tough competitor. Todd may be right behind him right now, but it's a 440. And he's got this work cut out for him. But look at the pace. It's a good little pace right now going. Todd trying to make a little bit of a move. He looked to the inside. He's not pressing very much, though. None of these competitors seem like they're pressing. If anybody does, it would be Todd Bridges. Well, they've all had a chance to run this in the preliminary round. And they know that they can die in this race. And so what they've done now, they've learned to pace themselves a little bit better. Leave it for the last 110 yards. Stoney running a very smart race. He looked over his shoulder a moment ago to see if anybody was coming at him. There he does it again. And he could see that really Todd's not making much of a move. Now he kicks it in gear a little bit more. As he knows, he's only got about 50 yards to go. So Stoney Jackson is going to win this one easily. And he hardly really looks winded after winning it. Todd Bridges is second. That's good enough to keep his team in the competition. And John Scott Clyde will be third. Fast. Fast. the running relay. A good team effort again by the Insiders Miss Universe. Carlos Parkin made the difference here. He passes Steve Brady and he takes the lead in the third leg. The Apache's next. Everybody's got a chance. And we'll be back right after this.